Hello, this is Tim Bryce with the National Weather Service in El Paso. This is a special weather briefing talking about the impacts from the remnants of Tropical Storm Sergio. This weather briefing was recorded Thursday afternoon, October 11, 2018. Alrighty, just jumping right into the potential impacts that we'll see. We could see moderate to heavy rain Friday afternoon through Saturday morning. There is some potential for flash flooding in the Soldier Canyon burn scars, but really the impacts is just going to be uh, moderate to heavy rain. So we could see some uh, rainy high school football games. Uh, El Paso has chalk on the block ske scheduled for Friday and Saturday. And we could see some minor rises on the both the Gila and the Rio Grande rivers. But overall, we're not expecting um, big impacts from this system. Here's the official track of... Uh, what is left of basically tropical storm Sergio you can see by Friday evening it's downgraded to a depression just a little south of the boot hill and as you'll see I'll show you a model track here in a minute uh, even though it's uh, continuing to weaken it's still bringing a fair amount of moisture with it as it moves to the north and east here's a set of uh, model guidance that shows uh, the spaghetti plot of the models as they're basically passing almost directly over southern New Mexico and El Paso area here's another set again showing the same thing maybe just a hair further to the south uh, there is still some difference in the the exact track of the the remnant system and that track is actually going to make a difference on how much rain uh, falls and where it falls um, there is a marginal risk for uh, heavy rain and flash flooding. Um, what that means is that it can't be ruled out, but it's not likely to happen. Here is the uh, Weather Prediction Center out of Washington, D.C. Here's the rainfall totals. Anything in the blue is anywhere from a half inch to an inch. And then this is some of the model data that we, we look at. And I'm going to show you like four different ones so you can get an idea of kind of the different opinions of the models anything in the green here is uh, basically uh, I should say the darker green is is an inch or more so you can see this particular model called the GFS is really hitting the boot heel hard uh, over an inch and a half almost approaching two inches uh, whereas down in Hudspeth County it's uh, it's less than half an inch uh, for us uh, here in El Paso, it's anywhere from a half to an inch of rain. Uh, here's another model. Uh, this model takes the storm further south, and as you can see, it kind of impacts further south. Again, anything in that darker green uh, is around an inch of rain. So you can see as you go further north on this model, we get less rain. Further south, uh, we get a little bit more rain. Here's uh, the European model. Again, kind of showing that bullseye in the boot heel and then kind of stretching off to the north and east. And one more model, the FV3 model, again, almost identical to the ECMWF model, uh, hitting the boot heel kind of hard and then kind of spreading up towards Las Cruces and El Paso with the rains. So having said all that, here's what our, our rainfall uh, estimate is. Uh, anywhere from basically you're you're running from about half inch to a little over an inch across uh, all of southern New Mexico and far west Texas. Now, the, hopefully this rain, more than likely this rain is going to fall like maybe two tenths of an inch for an hour, another quarter inch, and two tenths of an inch. It's going to come down slowly. It's not going to be all an inch of rain in 30 minutes like we get maybe during the summer monsoon. This rain is going to fall over six, eight, ten, twelve hours. Uh, basically Friday evening through Saturday morning. So we should be able to get a good rain, but it shouldn't come down uh, enough, fast enough to cause us many impacts. Here's where the remnants of Sergio will be Friday, uh, very late. This is actually a, a little, uh, very close to midnight. You can see it's right over uh, basically Las Cruces. <laughs> and um, so you can see the rain associated. This particular model has that rain band a little further to the north, but you can see there's rain across all of southern New Mexico and far west Texas. So again, the, the uncertainties with the system is the exact track. The further west and north it is, the more rain we're going to see. The further east and south, the less rain. Uh, but right now, everything is kind of concentrated from basically a line from the boot heel across northern Mexico, uh, across El Paso and Doniana counties up into Otero County. So it's right across the middle part of uh, southern uh, south central New Mexico and then far west Texas. Uh, 
possible warnings and watches we could issue a flash flood watch maybe for like the boot heel uh, flood advisories might be possible and there might be one or two flash flood warnings uh, but I'm, I'm not right now I'm not saying that's very likely so again uh, the expected impacts moderate to heavy rain Friday afternoon through Saturday morning like I said we could see some flash flooding in that sensitive uh, burn scar area of Soldier Canyon if you're going out to a high school game uh, anywhere across southern New Mexico or far west Texas, be ready for rain. Chalk in the block the, could have some rain and then minor rises on the rivers in the area. So again, monitor our Facebook page, Twitter, YouTube, or of course our webpage at weather.gov slash El Paso for the latest information as we track this system across our area on Friday into Saturday morning.